Yeah, all tanning beds should come with a warning. Okay, so today is the day. Yes, today is the day. I'm getting ready to go meet the most specialist, Dr. Andrew Kaufman. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. He says I don't have to do any more surgeries, but at the same time, I kind of know he'll probably say I got it. But yeah, it's time to go meet him. I got lost on the way to the doctors, but I think I know where I'm going now. Coffin. I gotta go down these stairs. Hmm. Ugh, now the fun part filling out all the paperwork again. Uh, I really don't want to get cut open again. Okay, I'm going to have to do it. I made the commitment for July the 14th. Yes. <laughs> yeah, very good directions. Thank you. Oh, really? <laughs> i got to come back super early in the morning on July 14th. How good that leg looks. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., I gotta head over to go see Dr. Andrew Kaufman and have a Mo surgery. I'm really not looking forward to it because I really feel that I don't need to have another surgery, but you know, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's been nice having no stitches in my leg. Now, I guess tomorrow morning I'll go get some more. Between the hip replacement scar and all the scars from the <laughs> last seven surgeries, oh my gosh, you know, I'm definitely sporting some battle wounds. I mean, in a few more hours, I'm going to get cut again, and it's going to be here and here, and actually, because it's a Mo surgery, it could end up going there, there, wherever, I don't know, I guess I'll find out in a few hours. And, uh... Well, then there's this battle wound, my favorite battle wound, I like to say, my favorite scar, because <laughs> it's from Billy Idol's car, his Cobra 427 back in 1988. Yeah, good times, good memories, <laughs> just because of the fact that it kept popping the blister because we were having so much fun. <laughs> yeah, always going to be my favorite scar, I don't know, but when the surgeon cuts, he may actually end up going through there, I don't know. I just know right now I'm definitely sporting a lot of battle wounds <laughs> on this leg. <laughs> yeah, what are the odds that I would end up knowing two different Andy Kaufmans in my life? And they would both be on Google Images side by side. <laughs> That's a really kind of weird. Yeah, the two Andy Kaufmans apparently in my life. The one I knew 30 years ago and wrestled. The one that's going to remove the skin cancer off my leg. <laughs> okay, so I'm over here at YouTube, and, uh, you know, it occurred to me I haven't actually told Dr. Kaufman that I have a YouTube channel. I'm going to try and film what he does <laughs> on my leg, but I don't know if I'll get to yet. He may be camera shy, but then again, maybe he's not because I just discovered he has a YouTube channel, and it's under the Center for Dermatology Care under Andrew Kaufman, and these videos are showing some of the work that he does. So, you know, maybe he'll let me film it. I don't know yet. I just know that if you're looking for a most specialist and or some other work to be done, apparently you can see what kind of work he does over at YouTube or check out the Facebook page or the Twitter page. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to find out if he's going to let me film, but he may, he may not. I just know at this point in time, he does have a YouTube channel, though, so maybe he'll let me film it. Okay, this is it. This is the morning. I'm going to go meet Dr. Andrew Kaufman, and he's going to cut open my leg. And my friend, say hi, friend. <laughs> uh, 
she's going to drive me because since it is on my lower leg, you know, that's the gas pedal leg, I want to make sure that if the numbing stuff wears off that uh, I'm not pushing on that gas pedal a little too hard. <laughs> I'm being a backseat driver in the front seat right now. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she's like, oh, God. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I hate being on the freeway. <laughs> okay, time to get my leg cut. The infamous surgery consent form. Yeah. Great. Okay. <laughs> it's got some pretty nice little vintage stuff here. <laughs> He's got some really nice vintage pictures in here. I like that. All right, one last view of the leg before it gets cut open again. <laughs> time to... Time to do it. Cutting, I guess, here and there, right? <laughs> From, or, okay, so we're going to mark the side. Let me take a photograph first and then we'll mark the side. Yep. Okay. Not the very beginning. Not the very beginning, but from there to there. Just, so that's where see. they were. So right there. We put little dots. The other doctor, he just drew a football. <laughs> Is that uh, the locations? Okay, yep, I guess. Okay, that don't look too bad. Yeah, okay, so now we just wait a couple, I guess about an hour, and he looks at it through the slide? Or? Yeah. And then we see what happens. Yeah, and hopefully we're done cutting, fingers crossed. Yep, let's hope. <laughs> Fingers crossed we're done cutting, but... We will call you back in once we know the um, okay. the tissue's been processed and we know Dr. Coffin's read the tissue. Okay, we're all sitting juice. around with bandages. <laughs> okay, it's been a couple hours still waiting on the results of what he cut out of me. Hopefully he's done cutting. Cut off more. One. So apparently I got to get a little more cut off on the second one, one of, down there. I'm maybe? not sure which one is which one of them. One of them. Okay. Yep, yeah, more surgery. So I guess he has to cut a little more. Okay, so a little more cutting. Yep, a little deeper. <laughs> cut more off of me. He cut more off of you. Uh, coffee and snacks. <laughs> Again, but we're clear, so I don't have to get cut no more. Nope. Yay, no more cutting. <laughs> He's thinking of, of potentially letting it heal in. Letting it heal without stitches? Yes. Works for me. <laughs> Works. Yeah, I'm all for that. Okay, so take a picture of the wound and just let it heal naturally. Works for me. Yeah. That all looks right. all right. Introducing Dr. Andrew Kaufman. Uh, interior one's 1 1.4 by 1.1. Pre is 1.0 by 0 0.8. 1.0 by 0 0.8. And the superior one is 1.0 by... See how much I'm using. That's a lot you of aquaphor. You need to put a ton of it on, okay? You're like putting in the whole jar of it. Yeah. <laughs> and the you whole tube. cannot, because every 12 hours or, you know, twice a day, you need to put more of this on. You okay. cannot let it dry out in between. If it does, we're in trouble. Okay, we don't want it to dry out. No. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> yeah, up the steps. <laughs> oh, Thank my you for God. bringing me here. And <laughs> now I got to get in this car. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm starving. I need lunch. All right, time for a little lunch. Some protein after all that bleeding. <laughs> Shit, get those shoes off. <laughs> all right, back from the dock, and uh, yeah, sporting bandages. Hey, yeah, I am back. I'm definitely sporting some bandages. It was a long day today. 
but I'm not sporting any stitches. Yay! Um, different healing process too, apparently. You know, uh, for example, I got to keep it moist. I'm not allowed to let it dry out and become a scab. When I take a shower, I have to wash the wounds, whereas when they were stitches, I wasn't allowed to get the legs wet. So yeah, it's a little different. No jeans, no boots, nothing that could irritate it or cause these wounds to bleed. Um, and uh, so yeah, gonna be wearing some skirts and <laughs> shorts for a couple of weeks. No dancing. Um, what else? Oh, I, I guess I need to. I guess call the doctor if I start bleeding <laughs> because it, they are open wounds. Now, you know, I do, I, I am cursing the day I chose to use a tanning bed. It was the worst decision I ever made in my life. And I'm very grateful to dermatologists because they know what they're looking for and they know how to get rid of what they found. You know, um, the small surgery, particularly because it, underneath a microscope they keep looking at it until they see everything in the epidermis that they need to get to and then yeah like he had to come back and cut me some more you know he saw it he cut it and then that was it so yeah I hung out there for a few hours today <laughs> thank you Dr. Andrew Kaufman for putting up with me everybody else seriously don't use a tanning bed okay you just it, it's not worth it you don't know the damage it's causing until a couple of decades later and even if you've never used a tanning bed, if you see something on your body that it just hurts, you never saw there before and it lasts for more than seven days, get in touch with the dermatologist. Yeah, go find yourself a good dermatologist because the odds are pretty good. <laughs> You're probably gonna need one at some point in your life anyway. And dermatologists are great. They know exactly what they're doing. They know what they're looking for. They know how to get rid of it. So outside of that, yeah, I'm glad that this little adventure is behind me. And even though I know, being a person who's had skin cancer a few times, that odds are good, I'll probably get it again in the future. I think at this point in time, I'm good for a while. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thank goodness for dermatologists. And don't ever use a tanning bed. Yep, sitting with my feet up. <laughs> Just say no to tanning beds.